In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios of multiple and submultiple angles. Alright, so here we've got a problem which reads like this. It says uh, prove that sine 5x minus 2 sine 3x plus sine x divided by cosine of 5x minus cosine of x equals tan x. So this is what we have to prove. So what do we do now is uh, we just have to use the formulas again. That's all we have to do. Nothing much. So we just have to manipulate and manipulate and manipulate. Let's see what happens here. So first we've got sine 5x minus 2 sine 3x plus sine x. So what I can spot first is, you know, I can see that this is the odd one out here. So just take it aside, group sine 5x and sine x, and you're going to get sine c plus sine d kind, you know. You know, there's a formula that we did, sine c plus sine d and all these things. So now what we're going to do is we're going to group this. So sine 5x plus sine x minus 2 sine 3x divided by, this is of the form cos c minus cos d. So we're going to get cos 5x minus cos x. So see, group this up. And then what we're going to get is uh, sine c plus sine d is 2 sine c plus d, which is 5x plus x, c plus d by 2, cos c minus d by 2, that is 5x minus x divided by 2, minus 2 sine 3x divided by cos 5x minus cos x, which is cos c minus cos d, that is nothing but minus 2 sine of c plus d by 2, that is 5x plus x by 2, times sine of c minus d by 2, 5x minus x divided by 2. Solving the above steps, we get 2 sine 5x plus x is 6x, 6x, uh, 6x by 2 is 3x, so 2 sine 3x, cos 5x minus x is 4x, 4x by 2 is 2x, cos 2x minus 2 sine 3x divided by minus 2 sine 5x plus x is 6x, 6x by 2 is 3x, minus 2 sine 3x, sine 5x minus x is 4x, 4x by 2 is 2x. So here we get it, all right? The next step is a pretty simple one. You know, this is the crucial stuff. Once you can identify what to do with them, once you can see them as, you know, sine c and sine d, not as something that, you know, really like alienating, where you can identify which formula to relate it with. And trust me, that's going to happen only with practice. So, you know, to look at it as sine c plus sine d, you should have like practiced it a lot of times. So, and the formulas and all those things, all right? So now let's continue from here. We have, if you consider these two terms, you know, we have 2 sine 3x as a common term. So what I'll do is I'll just take it out as common here. So it'll be 2 sine 3x, open bracket. Once you take out 2 sine 3x, it's going to be only cos 2x minus 1 and divided by minus 2 sine 3x sine 2x. 2 sine 3x, 2 sine 3x gets cancelled. Then we have minus of cos 2x minus 1 divided by sine 2x. You can write this as taking the negative sign, multiply it with it, you get 1 minus cos 2x divided by sine 2x. So now what you can write is 1 minus cos 2x is nothing but 2 sine squared x, right? 1 minus 2 cos a is 2 sine squared a and 1 plus cos a is 2 cos squared a. So in this case is 1 minus cos a which is 1 minus cos 2x. This is equal to 2 sine squared x divided by sine 2x is nothing but 2 sine x cos x. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled, 1 sine and 1 sine gets cancelled. So what we've got left is sine x divided by cos x, which is nothing but tan x. And that is the right hand side out of chess. So hence we proved sine 5x minus 2 sine 3x plus sine x divided by cos 5x minus cos x equals tan x. All right, so that ends this problem. Let's uh, do more problems based on this topic. So I'll see you in the forthcoming videos.